Today was the Black Student Union's presentation assembly on Black History Month. I never seen one where it was like student led and student voices engaged. So I created the student leadership team of the Black Student Union. So they've been working on this event maybe for the last month or so. Today's Black History Month assembly was inspired by the conversations I've had with students. They want opportunities to present information to their peers. They want to learn more. And I discovered a few years ago when I was at Emerson just how limited students' knowledge is of important figures and events in black history. And they, every day, were coming to ask, like, who are we going to learn about today? Who are we going to learn about today? And from their enthusiasm, working with Rob Fields, our school culture coordinator, we decided to put together a school assembly that was completely student-led. Today we wanted to raise awareness about black history. Most people know only Rosa Parks, Martin Luther King. We also tried to shed light on different African Americans because you talk about the same couple people, you know, history. So we want to dig a little bit deeper and talk about also the women that have paved the way. Malcolm X don't really get a lot of recognition because they have different philosophies from Martin Luther King. He was more of a fight back. So that's always kind of been suppressed. We had the younger kids come on at the end because there was more of the tribute about the future and the students being able to try to make a voice that they want to change. To change the outdated history and have more black history in the history books and not just from a European point of view. So it can happen if you voice it. Change starts with it. And they also build confidence in itself and that like, you know, they do come from greatness. No matter, you know, what the color of your skin is, they got this platform to trying to like put out there to speak how they feel about the history in class or what they've been taught. A lot of this history you don't learn about in the school because it's a curriculum that they kind of go by. But I learned a lot of the history when I was in college in African American studies. So I want to try to take that and put it back into the school system. I want them to learn more about people who sacrifice the lives for someone, or people who did amazing things in the past and people barely even know about them. Have you ever noticed that the same field names are always mentioned? We all know MLK, Rosa Parks, and Harriet Tubman. We have been posting daily, who am I? Challenges on the whiteboard at recess and realize that even here at Mount Fair, we don't know as much as we should about the people that made a difference in our history. If I had a BSU in elementary school, and I would have, you know, grown up knowing a lot of my history that was kind of suppressed. Middle school, elementary school, learning about Black History Month, but you never heard who Carter G. Wilson is. That's the father of Black History Month. So for me, if I never had that at a young age, I think I would have been shaped a little bit different and just have more knowledge about myself and where I come from and my true ancestors. Today was special because I want to speak up for all Black people that may not have that power to speak up for themselves. My father told me about Marcus Garvey, and I was really inspired by him so when I saw that slide I would ask Rob hey can I do that he told me that not all blacks were being treated fair because Jim Crow laws and segregation at the time to be able to have more confidence in speaking about the history from elementary school is monumental that we have a BSU in school so now at this young age you can grow up learning about these type of things that you can also share with your family share with other kids my life in your hands my life on the line Fred Hampton Jamarian Robinson Antoine Rose, Ryan Twyman, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? For some of us, maybe, but for others, there's nothing self-evident about it. I just feel like it's more powerful if kids kind of educating kids and speaking and being a leadership team and that also occurs other kids like oh I can do the same thing too. Black history has always been an inspiration of mine. I, I love history and I love learning about where I come from and I feel as if everybody should know too that your history isn't just something for you, you should share it.